is you label your bottles. And you want to have a control, which will get just acetone. And then you have your bottles with insecticide. And it's very important when you label your bottles to label the top and the bottle together so you know this is one unit. You don't want to mix this top later on in the test with this other bottle. So you have to, to make sure you are keeping them um, your bottles separate. And you'll usually make about four bottles with the insecticide to one bottle of just the acetone. All right. Get the rest of my packaging out of here. Um, you also get a little stand to hold these conical tubes because they have a point and they don't stand up by themselves. <laughs> so after you have measured your acetone, you pour it into your mix bottle. And now you can use this to put just a little bit of acetone in um, so that you can um, put it into your control. So you're, you're ready to go with your acetone. Um, and then after you have opened your insecticide, you can take some of that acetone and you're gonna rinse the bottle out and you're gonna really um, wanna triple rinse it to make sure you get all of that invisible insecticide out and into your, um, into your mix. And once you have done that, Janet, and you sorry. have mixed it up. You don't want the pipette to go back and forth. You just want you to pour it directly it. out. No, you can do it because um, if you can even pull what's in here out with your pipette and put it in um, because you're actually going to use that same pipette to treat the bottles. Yeah. Um, so once you have it all mixed up nice, you have enough material in here to make 50 bottles. Okay, so you can actually store this in the refrigerator and come back and, and dip into it. And you get some parafilm so that you can, can seal the bottle so that you're not getting um, evaporation of the acetone out because you didn't tighten it down. Um, What's the shelf life when you do that? Um, we actually have somebody who is working with us on the shelf life. It should be several months, okay. up to hopefully six months at least. But we have to work through each chemical um, so that we can say what the shelf life is. And once we start with the argon gas, um, this little vial should last indefinitely because there's no light and there's no oxygen to degrade the insecticide. So, what you do is, is you'll actually have several of these little pipette bulbs, um, and I would suggest that you use some tape or something to mark one for acetone only. Don't ever put this one in your insecticide. Um, and they are calibrated, so if you go up to um, about where my fingers are, that is um, one mil. And so you put <coughs> one mil of acetone in your control. And then you have a second um, <coughs> pipetter that you can put one mil into. one mil into your insecticide bottle. bottles. You would actually make multiple of them. And then um, the next part is that you cap the bottles. And again, you want to kind of swirl it on the bottom. You want to treat the inside of the cap. And then you're going to roll them back and forth to coat the sides of the bottle for about a minute. And you guys are all going to do this. Um, and then I usually swirl the bottom and the top again, and you take the cap off, and you continue to roll it. Okay. And once the um, no more liquid is showing, you actually need to let them breathe about another half an hour to an hour. I usually put them in a dark drawer to protect them, um, and then they're ready to use. So you could make these in the morning, and you could use them all day. Once you have made 
them and you have run your mosquitoes through them and you have another batch you want to do, you can actually take those mosquitoes out and put a new batch in so you can continue to use the bottles as well. Because there's lots of oxygen and lots of light, some of the insecticides, like Maalid, um, it's going to break down by the end of the day. So you really have to make them in Maalid ones in the morning, use them as soon as possible, and you may get maybe two runners off of them before you need to make a new set. <coughs>